Managing and Treating Osteoporosis. If you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, the first step is to talk with your doctor about a treatment plan that's tailored for you. Treatment has two goals, to slow or stop bone loss and to prevent fractures. Medication may be part of your treatment plan. Medication works best as a part of a treatment plan that also includes eating a healthy diet, getting the right amount of calcium and vitamin D, staying active safely and exercising, and preventing falls. A healthy diet includes plenty of fruits and vegetables, the right amount of calories for your age, height, and weight, the right amount of protein, and the right amount of calcium and vitamin D. Many foods contain calcium, but dairy products have the most calcium per serving. If you find it hard to get enough calcium from food, take calcium supplements. Your body needs vitamin D to help it absorb calcium, but it's hard to get enough vitamin D from food, so you may need to take a vitamin D supplement. Talk to your doctor about the daily amounts that are right for you. Being active helps keep your bones and muscles strong. Two kinds of activity can help maintain bone mass. Activities that you do on your feet with your bones supporting your weight, like walking or jogging, climbing stairs, gardening, lifting weights, tai chi, and yoga. Activities that strengthen your muscles, like push-ups and lunges, also help to maintain bone mass. In addition, activities like tai chi and yoga can also improve your balance, which can prevent falls. Falling increases your risk for breaking a bone. Preventing falls helps prevent fractures. Some ways you can help prevent falls include wear shoes with non-slip soles. Avoid slippery, icy surfaces. Keep floors free of clutter or objects that you might trip over. Keep your home well lit. If you need to get up at night, turn on a nightlight or use a flashlight. Install grab bars in the bathtub or shower. Studies clearly show that for older women with osteoporosis, medication can reduce fracture risk by about one-third. Some medications work by slowing bone loss. Other medications work by building new bone, while others can both slow bone loss and build new bone. Your doctor may recommend medication if you're at least eight years past menopause and have a T-score of minus 2.5 or lower, your score on the FRAX tool indicates a high risk for fracture, or you have broken a spinal bone or a hip in a fall from a standing position. Some medications are taken by mouth while others are given by injection. Talk with your doctor about your medication options and which medication might be the best choice for you. In rare cases, long-term use of some osteoporosis medications can cause harmful side effects, like a fracture in the middle of the long thigh bone that isn't caused by an injury, and weakening and infection of the jaw. If a thousand patients with osteoporosis take one of these medications for a year, one patient might have one of these side effects. For most patients, a lower risk for fracture substantially outweighs the risk of a rare medication side effect. With some medications, such as bisphosphonates, if you've been taking them for four or five years, your doctor may recommend that you stop taking them for a while. This is called a drug holiday. The risk of harmful side effects may be higher after you've been taking a medication for more than five years. A drug holiday can reduce this risk. A large study compared older women who took a drug holiday with those who did not. If women had taken their medication regularly for at least three years before the drug holiday, their risk for a hip fracture was no higher than that of women who did not take a drug holiday. If you have questions about your osteoporosis treatment plan, talk with your doctor or another member of your healthcare team. By talking openly and regularly with your doctor, you can take an active role in your care.